Yo, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and today we are going to be answering this question. What is the best way to MLG in Minecraft? Before we get into any of that, we have to define two things. One, what is MLGing? And two, what do we mean by best way? What is the best way? The first question is easy. MLGing is just simply falling from a great height and surviving. That's all it is, using whatever methods you can. The second question is a bit more difficult to answer. I'm going to rank each item of MLGing using four different categories. First is difficulty. How easy is it to perform the said MLG? The second is acquirability. How easy is it to acquire each item? Third, how consistent is it? How often does it actually work as intended when you do the exact same thing over and over again? And the fourth is the reliability. How reliable is the item of choice? Do you die simply because the item you're using is bad? Putting all four of those categories together, we can figure out what the best way to MLG is. Not just answering this question, I'm also going to teach you guys how to do each MLG yourself. Because, you know, I want you guys to be able to do these and impress your friends and look cool. Let's get started. Alright, the easiest MLG is slow falling. All you have to do is hold down right click and you're not going to die. Here's a really important tip. You do not want to be falling fast, which means you do not want to be holding shift as you fall. Unless if there's like, some block you want to land on, then of course you probably should shift to get to that location faster. But if there's no spawn in mind you have to MLG on, do not hold down shift. If you're falling faster, it gives you less time to do the MLG and thus a greater chance that you will fail and all of your friends will laugh at you and that's not something you want to happen. Water. Uh... Pretty easy. It's just timing. That's all it is. 1.17 added powdered snow buckets, and it seems to be similar to water in the MLG and capabilities, but do not be fooled. This is actually much harder because it is a block. You cannot place blocks inside of yourself, but you can place liquids like water. So as a result, um, this powdered snow bucket MLG is actually harder than it looks. Slime blocks are bouncy, they're fun, and they're an important part of redstone components but they can also be used to MLG. It's quite nice. It's no more difficult to land than a powdered snow bucket. It's basically a block. Um, but occasionally, you can land on it wrong and you will die. Make sure to just keep bouncing because if you crouch, then you are still gonna take fall damage and that will not be fun. Honey blocks, instead of canceling fall damage, it just reduces it. So if you're really high, it doesn't matter if you put the honey block down or not, you will still die. I did a pretty good job though, I was high up, and I only lost about half of my health. Landing in a boat seems like a bad idea to break your fall, but it's not really that bad because you just magically teleport inside, don't ask me how it works, it's just magic I guess, so... This is a bit harder to do because it requires two clicks, or one really fast double click. To perform this clutch, all you have to do is put your finger at the very tip of your mouse button and that will ensure that you get the highest CPS possible and ace this clutch. Now beware, you will bounce off your boat if you fall from really high and that bounce kind of sets you back a little in the sky. So if you double click, you might get your second click off before you're in range to get in the boat and that means you will land on the boat and die. It may seem really unusual to stop your fall with a minecart, but if you happen to be positioned right above a rail, this one could be for you. There you go, that's how you minecart clutch. It is way more difficult than it looks, let me tell you. Powdered snow can be a bit difficult to acquire, so if you're looking to pull off a fall in the nether, then twisting vines are for you. It's pretty much the same thing as MLG watering, so yeah, not too bad. Scaffolding is a really good way to MLG, because even though it looks like a block, you can still place it if it's inside of you, like water. So, as a result, it is not too bad to land. You may notice, I am on a small block that is way lower than the platform I built. Um, that is because I'm exactly 45 blocks above the ground. If you're any higher, you will die even if you land the bed. Yep, 
Half a heart, okay, yeah. Thunder Pearls are a really fun way to get around and travel, but they can also turn a major fall into a minor one. Beware, don't do this on low health, because the damage that the Ender Pearl will do will probably be bad. It's not that much more difficult than landing a water or scaffolding or anything like that. I don't know why would you would ever have a splash potion of slow falling because a regular one is just easy, you can just chug and jug on your way down. But yeah, this one you have to actually time. It's pretty difficult. If you throw it too early, um, you'll hit the ground before it can reach you. And if you throw it too late, well, you're dead. So it's not as easy as it looks. Yep, and that is the Splash Potion of Slow Falling. I think this applies to the Lingering Potion as well. Though, I honestly don't get why you would have a Splash Potion of Slow Falling. Sweet Berries, although they're food, um, can also be a good way to stop your fall. Um, it's not much more difficult than doing it with water or scaffolding. The only downside is you have to land it on a grass or mycelium block. Yeah, there you go. If you leave it there, you can also have some nice berries in the future. Juicy, am I right? Cobwebs are also a pretty good MLG source. Just like water, you can place it even if it's in you. So this makes for a really easy clutch. Even though it's extremely painful for the horse, landing on its back is a pretty good way to stop your fall. Especially if you don't have a water bucket or anything like that. All you have to do is just click on the horse and you don't even need a saddle to land this. And boom! Yeah. If it doesn't kick you off, you can just crouch and run away and all that. Of course, this clutch can also be applied to llamas, donkeys, and mules, so yeah. Anything that looks like this, yeah, you can land on its back and give them back problems. What a great way to go and help the environment out. You can also land on a pig's back and injure it as well, but this time, um, you need a saddle. And it's a little more difficult because you have to click twice, much like a minecart. And there you go! I hope you're okay, pig. Just kidding, I don't care. I need to eat this bacon, it's delicious, okay? Not only can you MLG on top of blocks, you can also MLG on the side of blocks. If you place a ladder on the side of a block, you can kind of grip the side of it and just hold on, and you will not take any full damage. The ladder clutch is probably one of the hardest clutches, and you should probably never use it unless you have no other choice. Alright, um, that was all 19 clutches I could think of. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what about lava? Can you MLG with lava? Um, the answer is yes and no. Um, you see here, I do not land it. But right here, I do. It's kind of weird, I don't know why. Because you can't MLG lava 100% of the time, I would not count that as an MLG. Another misconception people might have is cake. Because it's bouncy like a slime block in a bed, it should be able to negate fall damage, right? Wrong. It doesn't. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Time to find out what the best way to MLG in Minecraft is. I decided to create a tournament and have each item 1v1 another item, and just do that until there's one remaining. First off, we have got the boat versus the potion of slow falling. Now, the way I'm going to judge which one is better is I'm going to use the four categories I listed earlier and rank each item on a scale from 1 to 5, with 1 being the worst and 5 being the best. Then I add everything up, and as you can see here, the potion of slow falling is obviously the winner, so it will move on to the second round. If you're wondering how I came up with each of these values and statistics for each of these MLG items, my reasoning will be in the description, so yeah, feel free to check it out if you're confused. Now remember that the rating I give each of these items is my own opinion, so if you disagree, um, please don't hate me for that. 
you can actually drop a comment down below and I might make an updated video if you successfully change my mind. So yeah, feel free to comment. Now to make this tournament go by a little faster, I'm going to show each standoff for 5 seconds so you can get a good look. Um, and you can see what the winner is. You can also pause the video, scroll down in the description and read why the item that won, won. Alright, that was round one. Now it's time for round two. Round two um, is quite a bit longer because it has way more new items to add. And after round two, um, every single item will have faced off. Alright, there are 8 items left, time for round 3. Now, coincidentally, the winners of each of these items for round 3 have a score of 16. I did not plan that, that just happened. So there's a bunch of ties. Do I know how I'm going to sort this out? Yes! I'm going to increase the max score from 5 to 10, so that I will be able to um, explore each item more in depth and pick a clear winner. Alright, it is... The final four. Ender Pearl has come out on top, and Scaffolding has also come out on top. It will be these two facing off. Now because this is the champion round, I'm gonna go a little more in depth about the properties of each MLG item, and yeah. Alright, because scaffolding has a higher advantage to this advantage ratio than the ender pearl, I can say that scaffolding is the overall best MLG. But because it is the best overall, does not mean you should always use it. There are circumstances in which scaffolding would be terrible to use. One would be if you do not know how to use it well, if you haven't practiced crouching as you're falling, so you could always land in the scaffolding instead of on it. Scaffolding is better than an ender pearl if you are on low health, but if you want an easy MLG to pull off, ender pearl works just as well, maybe even better. You should use the potion of slow falling most frequently, but like... It's very difficult to obtain if you are in the early game or doing a manhunt. You're not going to get your hands on this. If you do have access to this potion, you should definitely use it. You should also keep this in mind. Do not drink the potion of slow falling if you will hit the ground before you are done drinking it. So like, short slash medium falls, do not use this. Use the scaffolding or ender pearls, way better. I haven't given water much love, mostly because you can't do it in the nether, it's kind of a big deal. You need to be able to MLG in the nether, the nether is full of cliffs and stuff, and you are probably going to fall more than once. I hope you are satisfied with my answer, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This video took me quite a while to make, so if you could show some love, that'd be great. Now, to finish this off, I will show the sickest MLG I've ever done in my entire life. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. But my hope will never